Roswell Flight Test Crew here at the International Drone Expo. Click subscribe to keep up with the latest from the show. And I'm here speaking with Dave Lee from FLIR. How are you doing, Dave? Good, Patrick. How are you I'm all right. Thanks. Now, for those of you longtime Roswell Flight Test Crew fans, I just want you to know I've been trying to get this guy on camera for like literally four years. Dave has been our primary contact at FLIR all that time. We've only flown FLIR cameras because of him. If you're flying a FLIR camera on your drone right now, it's probably because of him. He's been the quiet force behind the scenes, but no more. I've dragged him onto the camera with me here. So you're, anyway, you're Fle killing me. <laughs> FLIR is having, let's say, a big week. I mean, we got the yeah, FLIR V that. Pro yeah. and now the, the alliance with yeah. DJI and the Zen Muse. So very yeah. cool. Very, very exciting stuff going on, especially with that Zen Muse XT. I think that's going to be a real game changer. Yeah, that's, that's an impressive piece of technology from what I've seen so far. So Dave, what's the secret of choosing the color palette, or what should people be doing as they're selecting a color palette? There's really no, no magic formula. The only thing I can say from experience is that if you're looking at a uniformly hot scene, for instance, you're looking at Phoenix in the summertime, <laughs> a lot of times people can, can pick out faint signatures better in black hot. It just seems to work better that way. Um, but we've got a lot of other ones to choose for, so it starts in white hot and then you can go to Black Hot, just using the pull-down menu in the app. Fusion is often used in tomography type applications. So if you're looking at solar panels, for example, you could use Fusion, or you could use Iron Bell. Okay, those are very, very, very similar to show the peaks a little bit different. The Arctic and Lava give you um, a couple of alternates. They don't necessarily show anything better or worse. Again, it's just an alternate way of accessing the thermal data that's coming into the camera. So. Try one. If, if it works better for you, use it. If it doesn't, try something else. Okay? okay. And another one to talk about is InstaAlert. InstaAlert sets isotherms at the top and the bottom. So anything over a certain amount is going to display as red. Anything below a certain amount of temperature is going to display as blue. So that can be helpful if you're looking within certain parameters um, for something over a certain temperature range or under a temperature range. Like people. Like people or maybe water leaks. Okay, you're doing a, a thermal survey of, say, a dam, and you wanted to see if there was a, a, a this happens, really. <laughs> <laughs> if there was a leak in a dam, you would see it. Um, well, that could be important. It could be eventually. <laughs> yes. <laughs> could be very important That's eventually. Right. But Dave, thanks for going over that with us. Really oh, appreciate thank it. Thank you very much. Absolutely. All right, All take right. care. You too. Okay, and uh, stay tuned for more from Interdrone. Take care, guys.